Hello, this is your video on properties of real numbers. And this is review. You've, you've done these uh, in middle school before. So here's your properties. And then it works for addition and multiplication. The commutative property, as we, re we should remember, is where the order doesn't matter. Like A plus B, you could rearrange that to make it B plus A. The sum is the same. Same thing for multiplication. The order doesn't matter. An associative property, that's the grouping uh, property, where it doesn't matter what group we add first, the sum will be the same. So like A plus B, you can add that and then add it to C. Or you could do B plus C first and then add it to A. Same thing with multiplication doesn't matter what order you multiply first, they all multiply the same thing. Identity, identity property. This is where if you want the answer to equal itself, here A is equal to A, what do you add to A? Well, you add, a, you add 0 to A, because A plus 0 is still A. Or 0 plus A is A, same thing. In multiplication, if you want it to if you want a to be equal to a you multiply it by 1 a times 1 is still a inverse property that's just where you add its inverse or multiply an uh, an inverse or it's a plus negative a those would cancel and equal to 0 generally we use equations with this so you won't deal with this for right now and then finally distributive property this is what I like to call as the sharing property, where you have a number or the variable outside. You're going to want to multiply A by the B and the C. So it's like AB plus AC. You could also have the number or variable behind the parentheses, and it still works the same way. A way to think about the commutative property is this. When you get up... Uh, and go to school you start at home and then go to school well from there you're going to leave school and go back home that's a commutative property order doesn't matter the distance would be the same here is what it would look like with multiplication remember the associative property is when the grouping is different. So, for example, if I go to school and then, let's just say, Walmart, for instance, I then will go to Burger King. Or I could do it this way. I could go to school first, then go to Walmart and Burger King. Remember, that's where the grouping is different. Just remember that the parentheses changes. Okay. Again, same thing with multiplication. I could do S times W, school and Walmart, to Burger King, or go to school first, then... Walmart and Burger King. That's the associative property. The distributive property is when the, like the four here is shared with what's inside. So I'm doing four times the X and times the two. So I get four X plus four times two is eight. Again, the order could be where the number's behind. It could have something like two X plus 3 times 4. So again, same thing here. The 4 is shared with what's inside. 4 times 2 is 8, so that's 8x. Plus 4 times 3 is 12. That's a distributive property. And finally, the identity property, we remember, that's where we want, for addition, what do we add to a number so that equals itself? Well, 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 
in multiplication, what do we multiply so that it equals itself? Well, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So just remember the identity is where the answer is equal to the original number that we had. All right, there's your video. Have a good day.